Okay, so getting dressed as a C6 squad. Um, lots of tricks, obviously. You'll see how I um, do my wrist extension and my thumbs and things to get everything dressed. But starting off, first of all, double bed is good and I wiggle myself down so my feet is nicely over the edge of the bed. Um, okay, that's the one thing. Then obviously coming up, which I showed you, um, lock on, momentum, lock on, position my feet in the right position. Okay, then firstly, I put my socks on, um, different socks, uh, some socks are easier than others, um, but I lick my thumbs for some grip on the sock itself. Then I use the elastic of the sock for grip on the thumb and then I pull the sock up. Okay, now as you can see while I was pulling up I was pushing against my foot for grip and then pulling it up. Um, and the alternative which I'll show you now when I put the second one on is sometimes when you lose that grip You can do this and put this hand there and then pull up. So, and that's how we go. Oh, and I don't know if, if you heard, but I got my wife to start a stopwatch before we started this. As I talk you through this, just to show you, even going slow, talking you through this, the time it takes me to do this is very functional. Okay, so then I wear underpants and I like these type of underpants. Um, but anyway, all about just opening it up, wrist extension. Um, then taking the other hand, making sure the middle part's through the middle, and then get it up to here. I don't pull it down up all the way. I already take my pants, same story, and get my pants up as well. Once again, firstly get it through the two feet, then I use my right hand side to just make sure all the waving and everything that's inside the pants. Um, Now it's all just wrist extension that I'm putting this up with. And because these pants have got liner inside, I just make sure that the liner is going to be free from where my feet are. Then I combine my underpants and my pants. Now together, pull up my pants and I fall backwards or I'll pull it up. Okay. And um this is now with the elastic type of pants. I'll show you an example when my, I would put my work pants on. Now I've pulled this up all, all the way up to here. I used the tension from the pants to control me falling backwards, but as I fell backwards, I pulled the pants up. And then it's all about just wiggling and pulling up bicep wrist extension to get it up to where you are. Once again, different pants work better than others, and putting tights on for training, for instance, is a bit harder, but the, um, you get it. Then, turn around all the way onto my stomach, uh, so I roll in there, then obviously you have to wiggle your hand in underneath the pants. Sometimes it's easier to just pull the underpants up first and then pull the pants up, but I found with elastic pants, this is pretty, um, once again, same trick, thumb underneath, push my hand against my body, just finally pull up. Um, and then yeah, then you can just wiggle and push up and put your, you know, get your pants into a position that you actually like. I even use my, you can use your um, pockets to do this as well. Once again then for yours, you have to come up again, coming up, once again arms get locked, get my feet in the right position. Now I'll show you two different ways. Um, my right leg, I've got a non-union broken femur uh, with a bit of complication, so I, I can't do what I do with my left leg, but so the one way obviously is as always, I'm leaning on my elbow, it's all about balance, get my leg up to here, and then my shoes, I always have them tied um, already. Um, in such a way that they're loose enough you can just easily put them on. So that's the one way. Um, leg over, shoe on. This leg now, I don't like putting the leg over because the 
pin sticks out to other words issues. So I had to adapt my way of doing this. And this is now how I do it. Put it on straight up there. Both hands we pull your and my shoes up. And if I have to pull up the tongue I can once again use both hands and pull it up quite easily. Now once again I make this look easy but it was a lot of practice now I just now have to use my hands and my body with what I have. Um, if you're not as flexible leaning over like this obviously your legs will bend up. They don't have to be able to be straight as long as your feet are just over and you don't fall off the bed. Um, and yeah, now I always put my shirt on once I'm in the chair. I can put it on in the bed while I'm lying and stuff but obviously it makes sense if you're going to be going then you put your shirt on. And underneath my chair here, once again that just gives me balance. It's not like I'm loose here, oh balance, balance. Once my hands underneath my chair there and see to come up, what am I doing? This hands there. I actually use that. So, anyway, legs down, from there, then from here, see where this arm is? I pull up from there. It's not tricep with this arm, it's pulling with this arm from here, because my hand was under my leg. Okay, and then chair in the right position. It's all about balance here, but see where my left arm is? It's far, it's not close to my body, we need triceps, it's far, so it's locked and I can control. And then from there, foot on, arms locked, and then getting to a position in between one, two, three, and I'm talking while I'm doing it, so it's no effort at all, no transfer board, breaks loose. Um, I'll put this on here. Obviously, if I had my shirt a bit closer, or already on the bed, maybe I would have done there. Now I just get my shirt, which is on that chair. And yeah, it's just about reading this to get both my arms going in, shirt on. Once again, balancing act in the chair, but my bum is a bit forward at the moment in the chair. See how I do this? I turn the, the shirt around and then I know while this hand is in, it's not tricep. Shirts down, shirts in, and we can check the stopwatch. Um, I've explained a whole bunch of things now. I did it really slow, and what does the stopwatch say? I didn't start the stopwatch, but, but on the clock it says 7.43 from when you started talking. Okay, so I'll show you with the stopwatch. After this we're going to do it very quick. Then you'll see how quick it can be when I don't talk and I just go. But I mean, that was easily seven and a half minutes talking showing you slowly how I'm doing it. It's not just go and get dressed and it's long pants. Obviously different type of clothes. It's actually quicker shorts, t-shirt, those type of things. Um, but yeah, it's very functional, it's very easy. But it wasn't like that in the beginning. Um, in the beginning I gave myself, I, I timed myself and it took me 50 minutes and I was dead. I mean coming up from line sitting, I was dead tired. Um, and then I told myself, okay, I'll dress for 15 minutes, one five. And then once I'm done with it, that wherever I get to at that point, the person that was with me could help me. And um, it took me, you know, only marks gets it, go, time myself. But timing myself, seeing myself getting faster or close to this 15 minute mark motivated me on a daily basis. And yeah, um, eventually, I think a month later, I was 15 minutes fully dressed. And then I said I wasn't going to leave it there, I'm going to make my world record time, impossible time for getting dressed, seven minutes. And so that I could carry on timing myself. And I mean, I timed everything I did on a daily basis. And as I saw myself getting faster, it motivated me because I mean, I get, got better and got better ways of doing it. And um, yeah, you know, two weeks later, three weeks later, I opened my eyes under 12 minutes, under 10 minutes. And I think it was about two months, two and a half months after I started this whole dressing thing at home. Um, there I was breaking my impossible barrier that was never going to happen of seven minutes and I was under seven minutes and now as I'll show you in the next round of this um, I don't time myself every day anymore but um, my current record is two minutes and 41 seconds for getting fully dressed so it just shows you that's three times faster than what I thought the barrier of impossibility was going to be so it's just to show you it can happen